Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to move the invalid records to another file in SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to move the invalid records to another file in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Valina Silvira. Can you validate the data before loading it in a SQL table and then load only the validated rows data and make an error file of the rows data which failed the validation and not loaded in the SQL table. So if you have a source CSV file and there is some invalid records in the file then she wants to move those invalid records to a error file and load only the valid data into the SQL server table. So let's see how you can do that in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. I got an email underscore info csv file on my d files location and if I open this particular csv file so I got some person's data, their IDs, their first name, last name, email and gender. We can write any kind of conditions to validate the data but because this file contains email information so one kind of basic uh, validation can be that every record should have some email address attached to it. So for example if this record doesn't contains any email information then this record will be of no use for us because this is email data and every record should contain the email information. So what we can do we can write code in the SSIS package that if a record doesn't contains the email information in it then we can move that particular record to the errored file. So let me open the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is my SQL Server Management Studio and I got an email table here. I will share the create table statement for this email table and I will also share this email underscore info.csv file with you so you can download it and you can use it for your SSIS package. So right now this email table is empty and I will load the data into this email table from the CSV file and for example if there are some invalid records then those records will be moved to the error folder in a csv file so i will create a error csv file here bad data dot csv file here and then we can move the invalid records to this particular csv file so let me just open the ssis package and start writing the code here so i can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then I can just configure the data flow task. So because we will be reading the data from the flat file, so we will be using the flat file source. So I can just configure the flat file source and I can call this connection manager as source data and I can browse the file. So uh, the file exists in the D files location. So the file type is CSV. So this is the file email underscore info, click open and if you click on preview so you can see that data seems good here we can see the data in separate columns so i can click ok now we can click on columns to make sure that all columns are selected here if you do not want some columns in your final table then you can uncheck this but i want all columns in this case so i can click ok and now because we want to write a condition like which records to move to the csv file and which records to insert to the sql server table so we will be using conditional split here so we can just drag and drop the conditional split transformation into the data flow task and then we can connect the flat file source with the conditional split transformation now i can just right click and edit the conditional split transformation so from the columns we will be selecting the email column because we want to write a condition that if email is blank then we want to move those records to the error output file okay so i can just drag and drop the email column into the condition and I can write a condition email equal to double quote double quote so if email is blank okay so this is the condition so the output name will be errored data so I can click ok now in the destination there will be two kind of destination so one will be like flat file so for the bad data we will be writing it to a csv file so I can just connect the conditional split transformation with the flat file destination and from the output I can select the error data okay. click ok and now what we can do we can actually create a blank csv file here so maybe I can call it as error data dot csv ok so this is the blank file now I can go back to the SSIS package so you can just right click on the flat file destination and uh, now need to click on the new connection manager so the connection type will be delimited so i can click ok and now i can give a name to the flat file connection manager i will call this connection manager as errored 
data and I can browse the file that I just created. So the file type is CSV. I can select this file, click open and then I can select this one column names in the first data row. So click this one. So this will actually insert the header information into the CSV file. Now you can click preview. So this seems good. I can click OK. You can click on the mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination column. So this is fine. Now I can click OK. So we have created a connection for the error information CSV file. Now we can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task and now we can connect the conditional split with the OLEDB destination. So from the conditional split two type of outputs will be written. The first one will be error data. So if there will be some invalid records those will be moved to the CSV file and rest of the records will be moved to the SQL server table. Conditional split default output. So I can just configure this OLEDB destination right click and click on edit. I can click on new to make a new connection here. I already have a connection to the work database. So I can select this one click OK and now from the data access mode I can select table or view fast load because it enables the bulk insert thing. And now I can select the table from the work database. So my table name is email. I can select the email and now I can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination column. So this is fine. All columns have been mapped here. So I can click OK. So everything is has been configured now and I can go back to the source CSV file. So this is my source CSV file. Now for example if I blank out few records. So for example I can blank out this record, record number 10 and maybe I can just blank out record number 20. So if I blank out these two records from the CSV file then what will happen this file contains 1000 records and if two records are the invalid records then 998 records should be inserted to the SQL server table and only two records records number 10 and 20 those two records should be inserted to the bad data.csv file. So if I check the email SQL server table so right now this table is empty and if I check the error data CSV file then this table is empty as well okay. So I can just close this particular file now and let me execute the SSIS package. So let me click on the start button. So you can see that 1000 records got read from the source file and two records were the invalid records. So those two records got inserted to the bad data.csv and 998 records got inserted to the email table. So I can just go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and if I execute the query now, so there are 998 records those got inserted to the email table and I can go back to the error data.csv file and in this particular file I got only two records record number 10 and 20. So this is how we can insert the bad data into a CSV file and only the good data will be inserted to the SQL server table. So there is one thing that I can tell you here that if you right click on this particular flat file destination and click on edit so there is a setting here override data in the file so if this particular checkbox is checked in it means that every time when the SSIS package will run it will override the data in the file so if you want that every time when the SSIS package will run then it should append the data into the file then you can uncheck this checkbox and click OK and now it won't override the data but it will start getting appending the data into the same file. So maybe you can send the file using send mail task to some group of people so that they can identify the data and maybe can send the good data next time. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.